Jaden, thanks for joining us. First off, congratulations. Must have been nice to get off the mark on Tuesday. Yeah, I mean, that's the first thing you think about when you go on loan is to score goals. And I was just glad that uh, the team were doing well and I got a chance to come on and uh, get myself a goal. Um, you said you've, you've had a few loan spells before. It must be nice coming into a side in such a rich vein of form. Yeah, it's different for me uh, coming to a side that's uh, doing really well. Um, the strikers here are brilliant. I love learning off them every day in training. There's a lot to learn from from Lisby and Mooney and Bats. So uh, I've uh, definitely got my notepad out in training. So uh, it's just good to get all the experience of coming on and uh, doing well. So say you, say you learned a lot, how have the lads helped you settle in? Yeah, it's a great bunch of lads. Yeah, I knew some of them from, uh, they were come from born for me, Marvin Machu, so that helped me settle in a lot. And the lads here are really welcoming, so uh, it's a good bunch in the changing room, so it makes it a lot easier. What's your sort of aims on a personal level for the loan spell here? Just to keep this side winning and keep this side top of the league and in, in hunt for promotion. I mean, I, I just want to score as many goals as I can to contribute to that and uh, hopefully uh, force my way into the manager's plans and, and uh, hopefully build a partnership with the strikers that are already here. Mm. You mentioned those strikers. What ones in particular? You mentioned Kevin Lisby. Is anything you particularly want to learn from him? Yeah, I think anyone can play with Liz. He's, his movement's brilliant and his finishing's obviously second to none and the same with Moons. Uh, they're all easy to play with. I played with Bat at Gillingham and it's, uh, it's great to use his pace and his strength. So. Uh, it's uh, all three of them I love to play with and I just want to learn everything I can from them, whether it be the smallest things. What's um, obviously looking ahead now, Brentford, it's going to be a big game next week, but uh, the momentum's behind this, isn't it? Yeah, it's probably one of the toughest games this season and uh, it's on TV, which makes it all the bigger game. So uh, I am looking forward to the Brentford game. It's going to be a tough challenge. It always has been against them. They're a good side, a good powerful side. So hopefully we're going in there confident and hopefully we can get the job done. You've obviously seen, having been at Bournemouth, the sort of been around the squad that's gone up. Um, what do you think, this, from what you've seen and heard, the key ingredients that you need? For I think just the United squad. I mean, here and at Bournemouth is the same. The, uh, there's a lot of characters in the squad that's, that gel this team together. I mean, me coming in, I've only been here a short while, but I feel it's part of the team already, and I think that's down to all the players here uh, making me feel welcome and, uh, and the talent that this group has. I mean, just training with them, I can see the talent that everyone has. Uh, it's brilliant to work with a team of such high on confidence and uh, with such ability. Confidence, you, um, you took your goal and you're very confident the way you took that on Tuesday. How do you feel personally? Yeah, I feel fit, I feel strong. I'm glad just to get some football under my belt. And uh, obviously if those chances come up, then uh, I expect myself to put them away. I mean, uh, you can get nervous in front of a goal, but I think it's just a matter of trying to be confident and obviously watching the strikers here put them away is, uh, uh, makes me a bit, a bit under pressure that I have to put mine away. So it was uh, glad to get the goal.